Okay, this is an easy steps to prove your stuff on your car, a little do-it-yourself. First thing I'm going to do is duplicate the background layer. Now the first thing I want to do to my car is lower it since that seems to be the thing that everybody wants to do. I'm going to option scroll to zoom in. And you want to basically select the bottom half of the car minus the wheels along with the top half of the picture. I'm using the polygonal selection tool because it's a little bit more accurate than the quick selection tool. And this does take a little bit of time to do it and get it right. And right now I'm selecting the top half of the picture. Okay, now that I have it selected, I'm going to zoom out and I want to copy and paste my selection. And I can just grab it and move it down. And you can warp it and twist it and spin it to get it right. Most of the time, one wheel is not even with the other, so it does take a little bit of warping. I got this little shadow area that doesn't look right. So what I'm going to do is make that layer invisible. Select the layer underneath and copy and paste the old shadow. And then I'm going to warp it to make it fit with the new layer. And there we go. Now I'm just going to merge the layers to make them one. Zoom back in, and the next easy thing I'm going to do is delete the door handle. And for this, I'm just basically going to use the Content Aware Fill. You can go up and edit and fill, or just Shift F5. And then Control D just selects that selection, and as you can see, it just deleted it perfectly. Now, deleting this strip on the side of the car is a little bit different, so I'm going to copy that section and paste it into a new layer and since the content aware fill won't really let me fill it perfectly with selecting the whole thing I'm just going to select little sections at a time and fill each little section until it's completely gone And there we go. It's not perfect, but you get the idea.
I got this little section on my valence that's not really color matched. It's actually primer. So I'm going to take the paint brush with a low opacity, sample my car's color, and basically spray paint the bumper. There we go, it's not perfect, but it looks a little better. Now a lot of people ask to change the color of their car. So I'm just gonna use the quick selection tool and select all the paintable areas in my car. Quick selection tool is basically a rough outline. It kind of looks like crap when you look at the real selection. Now I'm going to refine the edge. Right now I'm just making it visible. And as you can see, quick selection tool selects like crap. That's why I prefer the polygonal selection tool. But you can refine the edge pretty well. And that's what I'm doing right now. Now I'm going to paste that into a new layer. Now let's control click that layer to select the selection and basically you can change the hue or the colors and make your car whatever color you want. Now I'm just going to make my car a blue color because it's pretty easy. My car is already a different shade of blue. Now I want to select the background layer and let's change the color of the rim. Once again, I'm going to use the quick selection tool. Still selects like crap, but I'm not trying to get it perfect right now. So I'm going to select everything and then refine my selection and get it close enough. It's basically going to be the same thing as changing the paint. I'm going to select it, paste it into a new layer, and then change the hues and color balances. That's pretty much it. Just a quick tutorial on photoshopping your car.